Three years ago, an American teacher who gained worldwide attention for her appearance on Oprah became famous after appearing on a reality TV show with her conjoined twin, got married in a private ceremony. Public records that today was able to get show that in 2021, Minnesota native Abby Hensel, now 34, got married to Army veteran and nurse Josh Bowling. Being one of the rare sets of Dicephalus twins who survive infancy, Abby and her sister Brittany gained notoriety on their own TLC show, Abby and Brittany, which followed their significant life events, such as graduating from high school and looking for a job. The colon, bladder, and reproductive organs are among the many organs that the couple shares from the waist down on a single body. Brothers Ice and Sima Tanrikulu, who were born in Turkey in 2000, are the only twins in the world that share the same illness. The girl's mother stated in a documentary shot while they were teenagers that they were eager to start a family of their own and added, That is probably something that could work because those organs do work for them. Yes, we will be mothers. Brittany concurred. Josh, a single parent, and Abby's relationship have remained under the public eye for the past 10 years, during which time the twins have led a more sedate existence. Although they have always denied rumors regarding their personal lives, they did acknowledge as dumb jokes a report 10 years ago that Brittany was engaged. Nevertheless, even as teenagers, they expressed a desire to start a family. A video of Abby's big day was recently uploaded to the TikTok account at Abby and Brittany Hensel, and a photo of the happy pair was also shared on the Facebook page Brit and Abby. The husband donned a gray suit, and the twins wore a sleeveless wedding dress with lace trim details for the ceremony, which records revealed happened back in 2021. The twins and the groom were seen dancing on the big day in a video that was purportedly taken by one of their guests and posted on social media. The twins and the father of one most likely live together because Josh's Facebook page indicates that the family likes going on nature walks, eating ice cream, and dressing up for Halloween. These days, the sisters work as math instructors in the fifth grade at an elementary school in New Brighton, Minnesota. We immediately recognize that we will receive a single salary as we are performing the duties of one individual, Abby stated. According to Brittany, one can be monitoring and answering questions, and one can be teaching. So we can help more than one person in that sense. Their parents, a carpenter and a nurse, raised them in Minnesota, where they currently reside. When they debuted on the cover of Life magazine and the Oprah Winfrey show in 1996, they captured the attention of people all around the world. After that, they led a calm, typical existence in Minnesota with their family staying out of the spotlight until they decided to participate in a TLC documentary when they were 16 years old. Doctors told the Hensel twins' parents, Patty and Mike, that they were not expected to live through the night after they were born in Minnesota on March 7, 1990. However, the forecast turned out to be outrageously inaccurate. Additionally, Abigail and Brittany's incredible coordination while playing the piano, Abigail playing the right hand, Brittany the left, astonished the doctors. They were avid athletes as children, enjoying activities including swimming, softball, volleyball, cycling, and bowling. They also passed their driving test on their 16th birthday, demonstrating incredible collaboration as each twin used one arm to operate the steering wheel. Their mother Patty, a qualified nurse, acknowledged it might have been an issue at the time. I don't know what would happen if they got pulled over for speeding, the woman stated. Would Abby receive a ticket for having her foot on the accelerator, or would they all receive tickets? Despite the possibility that both twins would pass away or suffer from such severe problems that their quality of life would be severely impacted, Patty and Mike, the twins' parents, never once contemplated having the twins separated. Like many twins, they had quite diverse tastes and personalities as children. The clown of the family, Brittany, would only drink milk for morning, but Abigail, the feisty and rebellious one, preferred orange juice. Speaking earlier, Brittany remarked, Believe me, we are totally different people. She and her sibling both graduated from Bethel University in Minnesota. Prior to the delivery at the nearby hospital where she worked, Patty was unaware that she was expecting twins. In 2006, she recounted, 
The pediatrician said my babies were together but they had two heads. It was direct to the point of accuracy. We thought they were stunning the moment we laid eyes on them. I hugged and kissed Abigail, and then Brittany. Every time I pick them up from school, it goes something like this. Two kisses and a single hug for the world's most beautiful kids. Mike and Patty's families have long been residents of a small, 300-person farming hamlet in the Midwest, where they raised the twins, their younger brother Dakota, and their sister Morgan out of the public eye. The twins' third immature arm was removed from their chest during infancy, and at the age of 12, they had surgery to repair scoliosis, or the curvature of their spine, and enlarge their chest cavity to avoid breathing problems in the future. They went to a private church school, so the possibility of strangers becoming curious only arises when the family leaves this tight-knit neighborhood. A child at a swimming pool once asked his mother if she had seen the little girl with two heads, and Patty overheard. Abigail and Brittany and I have discussed that. She has previously stated. The girls respond that each of them has their own head when kids question if they have two heads. That is precisely what we have pushed them to do, to become as unique as they can. As per earlier reports, the twins had only discussed separation once, during their youth, when Abigail got bored and restless after Brittany got pneumonia and had to stay in bed. She proceeded to advocate that she and her sister be split up, but Abigail comforted Brittany when she started to cry telling her that everything would be all right and that they would never be split up. Their mother Patty stated in the 2003 documentary Joined for Life that her daughters would like to have children in the future. Those organs do work for them, so that is probably something that could work, Patty said. Yes, Brittany said. We're going to be moms. We haven't yet considered how being mothers will go. We don't need to think about that just now. We're only 16.